Hey guys, as we're around halfway through the year, I want to showcase some of the best textures and resource packs released in 2022 so far. I'm only going to be focusing on texture packs that are free, and most of these aren't going to be overhauls. If you've been watching my monthly texture pack videos, then you'll recognize a lot of these packs already. YouTube descriptions have a character limit, so I'm unable to fit all the links in the description, but you can follow the link to a web page which contains them all. But first, a word from today's sponsor, Chimera Land. There's so many animals in Minecraft, some of which can be tamed to love us, and some can even have their breeds changed, like you'll see in this video. But what if our virtual friends could be more than just simple followers and become our partner in battle or loyal servant? Well, that and more can be achieved in the new and upcoming game Chimera Land. Chimera Land is an open world multiplayer game filled with an assortment of interesting and diverse creatures. As you explore, you'll come across all kinds of species, some of which are rare and can eventually become your own pet and companion. But before being able to claim these creatures, you'll need to obtain eggs, which can be done through trading, or you can use prop guns like here, where I captured this huge grizzly. Some of the pets I've collected are pretty cute, and some are pretty intimidating, but they're all going to benefit me on my future adventures and travels. Over time, pets can go through the evolution process as they battle and devour other creatures, which will let them unlock new abilities or even change their appearance. So over time, you can watch them grow and evolve. I've mostly talked about the animals here, but there's more to Chimera Land. You can create characters that aren't just human, but of some different species and races. And you can collect materials, build a base, grow crops, and try to survive in a world filled with possibilities. So come and explore the world of Chimera Land. It's available on iOS, Android, and Steam. You can use my link to download it in the description below. The game releases tomorrow, so make sure to wishlist it and keep a lookout for its release. Ads are off for the rest of this video. If you're a fan of Five Nights at Freddy's, then you'll love Glamrock Freddy, Fozzie Bear, and Friends. By renaming creatures like the Iron Golem, Enderman, and Spider, you can change them so they look like Freddy. Monty, Chica, Roxy, Sun, and Moon. The texture, animating, and modeling work of this pack is incredible, and spiders will even change between Sun and Moon, depending on if it's night or day in the game. Big Brain UI will add some useful graphics to various panels. On a brewing stand, you can see a list of ingredients and modifiers, whereas blocks like the furnace will show how many items can be smelted from an ingredient. On a beacon, you can see what blocks and how many are needed to complete it. And since I last mentioned this pack, it's been updated to show all possible trades a villager has too. Enhanced Endermen will change the textures of an Enderman, depending on the biome it spawns in. There's around five different variants, and it's not just the colors that are changed. From now on, the Endermen will also have horns, with these also having their own variants. With a miss of textures, this pack really takes Endermen to a whole new level and you can spot these changes in the overworld, nether, and end dimensions. Moondrop is a custom item texture pack, so you can obtain lots of custom items and blocks through renaming. The theme of this pack is food, kitchen, and bakery, and there's quite a lot of items included. A catalog is included on the pack page, showing all the items you can create and how to do so. You can make bread baskets, hanging baskets, cutting boards, jars, and more. Another custom item texture pack is Heritage. It instead focuses on furniture, adding items like tables, chairs, paintings, vases, clocks, mirrors, and a few other items. They have a traditional and classic feeling to them and can all be obtained through renaming, then placing the items inside an item frame. And just like Moondrop, a catalog can be found on the texture packs page, showing every item available and how to obtain them. Another popular choice this year was Circular Hot Bar. It causes your experience, hunger, health, and armor bar to be in a circular shape instead, positioned in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. The hot bar itself, where your items are stored, will remain in the same position. Tur's Veggie Villagers will change villagers, making them look like different vegetables and plants instead. Even the Iron Golem has been changed into a salad bowl the appearance of a villager can vary on the biome it spawns in, so you might find them looking like potatoes, mushrooms, cactus, eggplants, pumpkins, and more. Changes are also made to the Wandering Trader, and if you have a Totem of Undying in your offhand slot, 
then a veggie villager will appear on your shoulder. A pack you'll want to install alongside veggie villagers is Tur's Hostile Army. It changes hostile mobs instead, like piglins, skeleton zombies, blaze, and a lot more. Zombies, skeletons, and creepers will become part of the goblin army, whereas skeletons, strays, blaze, endermen, and the wither will become part of the skeleton army. A husk will become a desert locust, and the drowned become zombified merfolk. Both of these packs are great and are definitely worth considering. Pet dragons will change your tamed wolves, turning them into these dragons which are modeled and animated nicely. By using a dye on a dragon, you can change the color of its scales. Through renaming, you can also apply netherite armor to a dragon for some added effect. Recreated containers will overhaul lots of Minecraft's interactive blocks. They still mostly match their vanilla appearance, but now they'll be more 3D and showcase a lot more detail. Currently, you can find changes to the furnace, smoker, jukebox, crafting table, cauldron, loom, brewing stand, barrel, lectern, anvil, and a lot more. The developer says it doesn't require Optifine either. Another pack to change mobs is better skeletons. From now on, skeletons will be biome dependent and can have completely different models and textures. They might look like regular skeletons, villagers, pillagers, or piglins. Further variation can be found depending on biomes, so in a jungle they might look mossy. In deserts, they might have cactus growing from them, and in dripstone caves, they'll blend into the terrain nicely. But you can find more designs for places like the Nether, Lush Caves, Savannah, and more. With the Doggos, you can rename your tamed wolf, switching it between lots of different real-life breeds. There's options like Bulldogs, Bull Terriers, Beagles, Dalmatians, Huskies, Pugs, and quite a few others. Some non-dog breeds exist too, so that you can also change your wolf to look like Chester from Don't Starve, an Ender Dragon, and Copper Golem. Installing this texture pack will turn your shulker boxes into backpacks. Depending on the color of the shulker box, they can look like a fox, panda, pig, bee, teddy bear, Steve, and a few others. They can also be placed down in the world for decoration. If a shulker box is in your main or offhand slot, then it will be rendered on the player's back. An improvement to boats comes with Lorem Ipsum's boats. They're a lot cozier with them having a carpet to sit on and a roof on top. Different wood types will determine the color of the boats, and I really like this pack. You can even fish through the window and bring your wolf along for the journey. All Natural brings some changes to foliage. Some of the first changes you might notice comes to leaves, which should look bushier. When it comes to birch trees, their leaves will be made pink, turning them into a cherry blossom instead. In jungles, you'll notice that vines are a lot thicker too, as well as bamboo. In the plains and similar biomes, regular grass and tall grass should have more density and variation. And there's some more changes you can find like connected grass textures, golden wheat, and more. More villagers can be used to add more randomness and variation to villagers. From now on, they'll be able to spawn with different skin tones, facial hair, and regular hair, which can also be some different colors. The textures on their faces might change slightly too, which can help age them. The Navilla Sky Pack adds some interesting changes. In the sky, one of the first things you might notice is an animated Aurora Borealis, but other events can happen at different stages during the night, like shooting stars, galaxies, meteorites, rainbows, and even end rifts opening up. You can quickly see the effects of this pack by entering some set time commands. Magic Bookshelves makes use of Optifine to randomize bookshelves. Included with this pack are 48 variants of bookshelves, which adds things like skulls, potions, artifacts, and more which really improve on your libraries and enchanting rooms. This texture pack is going to give every item a 3D model, so mostly you can expect things to look better when you're holding them, or if you throw them on the ground. Another use for a pack like this would be to place items inside of item frames and display them as decorations. Even your tools and armor items will be 3D and massively improved on. You'll definitely want to install books to letters when playing with friends, especially on role-playing servers. When signing a book, you can take it into an anvil and rename it 
with you being able to turn it into a letter, which there are 20 designs of. They can look like a love letter, have a flag printed on them, or even be covered in blood, so there's lots of options available. This texture pack will replace the textures of turtles, turning them into snapping turtles instead. They look really cool, and even though they appear aggressive, they'll remain friendly. You can see these changes on baby turtles too, and the shell and feet of the snapping turtle have some nice 3D features. Making scarecrows in Minecraft is fun, but they can always be improved on. With this texture pack installed, you can place a carved pumpkin in an anvil and rename it to Scarecrow. When you place it inside an item frame, you can display it in your world and rotate it freely. Fox variety will allow foxes to have four different variants. Firstly, there's the common fox, which is just its vanilla appearance, and these have a 60% chance of spawning. There's a 30% chance for them to spawn as a platypus instead. With just a 9% chance, a fox might look like a crocodile. And finally, there's just a 1% chance for a fox to spawn as an oni fox, which looks like it's from the nether and would make a cool pet. A complete overhaul comes with beveled bones, which is designed to make Minecraft look like it's promotional art. The pack is complete and really gives a new feeling to the game. Personally, I think everything looks more HD too. I'll show you another few clips before moving on to the next texture pack. Here's another custom item texture pack, with this one being called Miniaturia. Packs like this are some of my favorites as they allow you to introduce lots of new items with very little work. This pack includes some different items like foods, bread boxes, coffees, and juices. When it comes to decorations, there's lots of blocks like TVs, phones, typewriters, pianos, tables, chairs, and lamps. To complement the previously mentioned better skeletons, you can try out better zombies. Now zombies can spawn to look like regular zombies, skeletons, and pillagers. Once again, these are biome dependent, and in total, there's 35 variations of zombies, with some extra ones coming to drowned and husks. You can often find them all looking like miners, farmers, outlaws, and even mummies. Skeletons on stones is going to look great in caves. From now on, you have a chance of finding the remnants of skeletons spawning on stone blocks so it should at least add a little bit more immersion to your world. Another pack to improve immersion is tree shrooms. In birch forests, you can find mushrooms growing from trees, but these can be found elsewhere, like in warped forests. Also included with this texture pack is fireflies, but these are just small particles that stay in their one block area, as well as bushy leaves. Prominent mobs can be used to change the texture of spawn eggs, specifically when you hover over them. A small pixel art graphic will appear, showing what mob will spawn from the egg. It's a cool feature, and the graphics are really nice. Included with this texture pack is 19 new paintings, which will replace all vanilla paintings that are 2x2 two two in size or smaller. These are a nice improvement, and I think they blend well with Minecraft better. Just remember, no new paintings are added, these are all replacements. Animated textures brings an improvement to many items. All buckets of fish will now be alive and moving, including the axolotl. Some items glimmer and shine too, like diamonds, gold ingots, netherite ingots, and echo shards. The ender pearl feels like a black hole, and the ender eye will now blink. But you could find lots of changes with some other items like fluid buckets, end crystals, honeycomb, and spider eyes. If you want a very small change, maybe install Bed. It improves the detail of beds in Minecraft with some new models and textures. Overall, they'll look a bit more realistic and have a lot more depth and 3D effects. Better Crops is going to make all of Minecraft's crops 3D, which you'll notice as they grow. Each growth stage is changed, and I'd say more detail is added compared to their vanilla counterparts. Some of my favorite changes come to pumpkins and melons which you can see flower early on in their growth. 
Next is mob figures, which adds an assortment of plushies into the game. These can be obtained by renaming a carved pumpkin. You can create plushies for piglins, pillagers, zombies, wandering traders, villagers, and a few other creatures. You can either display them in an item frame or place them on your head. Some new equipment comes with Cal's Grimdark Samurai Pack. All of your armor will be replaced with five sets of samurai armor, with leather being turned into ninja armor instead. You can also expect changes to your weapons and tools, so they match the samurai theme. So you might like this pack for some role-playing, and there's also another sword variant which can be obtained through renaming. Another pack by Cal is the Grimdark Pirate Pack. Chain, iron, gold, diamond, and netherite armor is replaced with some captain-themed outfits, whereas leather has been turned into first mate's equipment. Like with the previous pack, all your tools have been changed too, with the hoe even looking like a sickle. Other improvements are made to the compass, trident, and shears, whereas the bow and crossbow has also been changed to a flintlock pistol and musket, which have some nice models, sounds, and animations. Hellpack overwrites netherite items, giving them a whole new look. In general, the items look more fiery, whereas the armor makes you look like some kind of demon or golem. They have emissive textures too, which will go great during the night or in the nether. Wilder Animals is going to change the models and textures of some of Minecraft's creatures. You'll find changes have been made to chickens, cows, mushrooms, pigs, sheep, goats, squid, and bats. Some mobs have lots of variants, like pigs, chickens, and cows, which each have eight new variants. Some of these changes are biome-dependent, too, like goats, which even have a texture for the nether. When it comes to models, the animals will feature more 3D effects and detail. Make sure to try out better piglins to expand on the nether's inhabitants. Piglins can spawn with 11 different variations. They'll mostly have different outfits equipped, like robes and shirts. In Soul Sand Valleys, piglins look like they're wearing bone armor, whereas in the Warped and Crimson Forests, they'll be covered in different fungi, like mushrooms. In the Basalt Deltas, piglins will have minerals and crystals growing from them, and some changes also come to zombified piglins, piglin brutes, and piglin babies. We are all shocked and saddened by the loss of Technoblade recently. A developer on planet Minecraft has made this texture pack, which transforms the totem of Undyne into a Technoblade totem, which is a nice tribute. Another pack that is going to overhaul everything is It's Smooth. Currently, the pack is far from complete and replaces textures so that they're 8x8 in size. Even though the blocks have a cartoon look to them, they still have quite a bit of detail in places. All of the blocks are made from three colors or less, and with the resolution being so small, it might even improve the performance of your game. There's still lots of updates being released, so keep an eye on it. Alternate leaves will start by making leaves bushier. Leaves can also change color depending on the tree and biome. So from now on, you might come across trees which are pink in color or gold, but there's a few more minor changes, like seeing leaves resting on the floor. Pastry cake will change the textures of cakes, with the texture being randomly selected when placing it down. There's no way to determine which type of cakes are placed down, but either way they look great, and the way they change after taking a slice is pretty realistic. If you place a candle on them, then the texture will change so they're wrapped in a gift box. Chest to pouches makes a lot of sense. When adding a chest to the likes of a llama, the texture will be changed into a leather pouch instead. This texture pack will change hit particles, turning them into small red squares instead. The aim is to turn them into blood particles, and I think it's the best option available, other than installing mods. Another overhaul comes with Derpswen. The textures are 16 by 16 in size, so there's still a vanilla feeling there, although I think the textures have a lot more cartoon-like appearance. Currently, the pack is marked as 65% complete, and some new sounds are also included. It's also been receiving updates every few days lately, with lots of progress being made. This pack adds an assortment of items from the Assassin Creed games, which can all be obtained through renaming. You can rename swords, axes, bows, shields, 
golden apples, and nether stars. Then you can obtain items like hidden blades, tomahawks, hunter bows, assassin tokens, and more. The models look great in your hand, and a lot of work has been put into the modeling and texturing, but they can also be placed in item frames for display. Better Stations improves the anvil, blast furnace, cartography table, crafting table, fletching table, and smithing table. They mostly look the same, but some extra items have been added to them, which adds some nice 3D effects. It's a small and simple pack that makes some big improvements. Mushified mobs will add some new variants to Minecraft's creatures. Mobs can be changed to look like red mushrooms, brown mushrooms, or crimson and warped fungi. They have a chance of spawning naturally, but can also be obtained through renaming. Lots of creatures can be changed like phantoms, creepers, endermen, biglins, and more. Another cartoon pack that is only 8x8 in resolution is Macchiato. It's a cute pack and I'm excited to see how it looks in the future. It uses mostly one or two flat colors on blocks, and I think it's definitely worth keeping an eye on. That covers some of the best texture and resource packs released this year so far. I'm working on another video which is focusing on some newer packs instead. Make sure to check out my channel and consider subscribing as I've covered hundreds of texture packs so far, with even more coming soon.